শুনছেন সিকে ওয়াইআর একশো ছয় দশমিক সাত এফ এম মেগা হচ্ছে আমাদের বাংলা অনুষ্ঠান ফ্লাইট এম এইট কমিউনিকেশন হঠাৎ করে সুইচ অফ হয়ে গেল এবং সারা বিশ্বে দামামা বাজিয়ে আজও মানুষ জানতে পারল না যে দুশো উনত্রিশ জন প্যাসেঞ্জার এবং বারো জন ক্রুকে নিয়ে বেইজিং গামী যে বিমানটি সেটি আজকে কোথায় আজকে আমাদের সঙ্গে রয়েছেন অন এয়ার এ কালামপুর থেকে ডাইন আবাস Dian, uh, we want to welcome you all the way from Kuala Lumpur and uh, if you can share that as a tra- travel blogger, what is the situation today in the city of Kuala Lumpur and also among all Malaysians? Uh, hello? Hi. Yeah, you're on the air. You're on the air, Dan. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so tell us, Dan, more, uh, more about what is the situation in uh, Kuala Lumpur right now among the Malaysians and also being uh, you know this is the news all over the world with 229 passengers and 12 crews on its way to Beijing we still don't know where it is so wh- what's your take on that well um uh, thank you thank you Jay. um well um it's a, it's been a very um it's been a very a uh, sad week for every one of us here in my country um i can say when i received the news last um uh it was a point where I was traveling during overnight and then when I received the news in the morning it was the point where I was uh, I arrived uh in Kuala Lumpur and sorry I was uh I was shocked and stuff and um there's so many things that have been happening around for the past uh, uh one week uh, every day I've been checking on the news and stuff and I have to say uh be in on the social media or on the news or even on um on the real life physically everyone has been very sad and um we have been uh uh me myself and among the travel bloggers we have been sharing uh information news for the seniors as well because we travel we have the of course we use um um airlines all the time so yeah it's basically very very sad and of course i am very happy to also see that there are so many people who have been uh, offering support as well um but not from this country from all over the world as well mm-hmm. living in kuala lumpur and you know taking a transit or a bus or a train uh, probably everyone is talking about it every night you sleep uh, not with a peace of mind every morning you wake up thinking that something or something there is an answer there is a clue there is something that people have found it what what do you see among all the malaysians uh, in on a daily life uh, how they are dealing or coping with the situation well <laughs> uh, here's here's the thing um uh, uh traveling um i mean uh we I personally understand that uh, flying is really safe, one of the safest methods on, on traveling itself. Mm-hmm. And this kind of incident doesn't happen every day, unlike uh, motor accidents and stuff. And um, everyone, of course, is concerned. Uh, but most importantly, uh, many are actually not so pointing out to it the um, technicality of, of, of the disappearance of the aircraft. Uh, more things are happening on uh, the news or the communication or the conversation that we have over here in the country are mostly talking about how the fam- uh, about the family and friends next of kin so who are involved those who are on board the plane um i really uh, do um to say that i'm not afraid is is um Uh, it's not true 100%, but I still have full confidence when I go out uh, and I would still be traveling uh, using an airplane. That's, that's no such uh, uh, issue on that. But on the news that um, on the news that there are so many leaks uh, about the missing uh, aircraft, um, I personally, and of course many of the travel bloggers, focus more on the uh, confirmed reports by the authority rather than the speculation that is going around. in the social media especially um, and I work online most of the time and I'm fully aware that news are being shared easily just at the click of our, uh, you know, your finger and everything. So, and here in my country, the best thing is we have around the clock coverage on the news. So I can just switch on to the official uh, uh, news media and then get an updated information 
as at the beginning of the at the beginning of the uh, incident, we have basically regular updates over the news. Every two hours, we have latest news because we have experts coming in and and explain the situation and everything. So I personally feel that the whole situation, if you focus only on the confirm author, um, uh, authority um, announcement, uh, there's no um, there's no cap or nothing that is um, being confused or misleading over here. Dan, before you leave, I want to ask you: Are you still hoping that a miracle is possible? Yes, there's nothing not possible. God's willing. Uh, of course, now with the latest development, um, there, there's chances that the, the survivors, uh, the, the plane, can uh, the plane can be found safely as well. So I'm not raising hope for I'm not giving false hope, but uh, God's willing, so they can be. Um, I'm sure there will be a positive outcome from this. Just um, keep on praying that uh, the plane is found. Whether it's uh, I, I don't want to say much about it, but I just we, we all of us wanted uh, the situation to be resolved uh, positively. Thank you very much, Dan, for being with us. You have a very good morning in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, uh, have a good evening in Calgary. Thank you so much. And that was uh, Dan Abbas, Amadha Shonga Chilen. Tini Kuala Lumpur, the travel blogger. I won't say anything for you, but I'm going to say anything. 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 I'm going to say anything.